So in today's video, I'm going to save you some money. And then to flick it out, the two speak up. Oh, that's so cool. That's perfect. Like, <laughs> <laughs> these are so cool. Hello, welcome. Today we're talking about the sweet spot, which is f5.6. This channel, I'm often talking about very nice cameras, very nice lenses, but they're often quite expensive and I feel guilty for making you guys spend all your money. So in today's video, I'm going to save you some money. What I've done over the last two days is I've been shooting in my home studio with lots of cameras and lots of lenses with the aim that to show you that it doesn't really matter what camera you use and what lens you use if you're stopping down to around f5.6, f8 anyway. So let's say you're a street photographer. If you stop down to f8, f11 to zone focus, most lenses are close to their best at around f5.6 to f8. Likewise, if you're a studio photographer, if you're using lights, often you stop down to about lights in a second. And so again, it doesn't really matter. And they also, if you do say landscape photography, you might have to stop your lenses down. I just want to show you that you can really simplify your setup you can shoot with one lens and then just enjoy your photography. I shot with 28mm lenses, 35mm lenses, 50mm lenses, 90mm lenses and a zoom lens. And then to add to that, I shot with like a CL, APS-C basically, and then full frame like a Q, like a M240, like a SL. And then for anybody interested, I was also shooting a film with various film cameras. So for the rest of the video, I'm going to show you photos from two photo shoots with behind the scenes footage. And I'm using all the cameras and lenses mentioned. See if you can guess which photos were shot with which camera body and which photos were shot with which focal length. Many of the photos were shot with a one light setup, which is this little Godox here. This is my new travel setup on this tiny little tripod. I can link it below if you want the information. And then later on, I started using two lights. So I was also using a Godox AD200. All the photos coming up, you can do with any lens if you stop it down to around f5.6. Let's get into the photos. Hi guys, Matt here from MrLucky.com. So before we start, a huge thanks to my awesome patrons. Patreon is where I share my usual model of photography content if you want to check that out. So this video, I'm going to show you how you can do soft light portraits and more contrasty light portraits, depending on the light that you use. You can actually use the same light, but you just use different modifiers. So we'll go through lots of different scenarios with example pictures. Okay, first to show how I did those photos, this is the Godox AD100 in a beauty dish overhead. And I'm just using a reflector underneath to give some fill light. I then used a AD200 with barn doors to give a little sliver of extra light to brighten up the images. So for the rest of the pictures, try and predict the lighting before I tell you how I lit the shots. So first I'll give you example photos like this, and then here's the answer. Beauty dish again, overhead, and then I'm using an AD200 by a feet through a translucent um, like scrim. It's the inside of a 5-in-1 reflector to give some fill. So I've got even light on the kind of top half of a body and on the bottom half of a body. You can see I'm using a older Godox style aerial trigger. Uh, I prefer the size of those for my small, smaller Leica cameras. Okay, this is the next look. Again, can you predict it? Probably a little bit easier this one. If you can see that the light should be coming from overhead. This was shot with a Godox AD100 in the beta dish overhead. And I've just used two 5-in-1 reflectors. A very large, you could call it, and a large hung either side of the model with the beauty dish, foldable beauty dish on a boom pole over a head, having black either side of the model, as you may have seen in other uh, photo shoot type videos from other people, is the black absorbs the light from the side of the face and it gives like a more chiseled look. You can also see I've got a reflector by a kind of waist height and that's just gonna bounce up a bit more fill from the overhead beauty dish. Okay, here we go again. Next look, again, the light's completely different this time. Any ideas? Uh, I can give you a hint, it is done with the Godox AD100, as all photos will be in this video. This is a softer look with softer contrast, and you can see that in some photos there is a shadow behind her. What I did, I used an AD100 in a grid, with a grid should I say, so you put a grid on from the round head kit. And I can put some links below for all this stuff. I then shot it over a head, 
the grid means it doesn't spill onto her too much. It hits the reflector in front of her and then bounces fill light back onto her. So it gives these a much more natural looking light. Here's the next look. This is a double double black denim with a bit of um, Kill Bill inspiration maybe from her. That's what was going through her mind in terms of the, the posing and things. I really like, these are probably my favourite set of the our, our, our entire 3-4 uh, hour shoot we did. And I just absolutely love it. She's just such good faces. Okay, these were lit with the beauty dish overhead again. And then I use an AD200 into a reflector. It's like a, you could put like a powered fill. So rather than just a um, reflector underneath, you fire a light at a reflector and that bounces some light back up. If you look carefully in these behind the scenes photos, you can see the different cameras and lenses that I'm using. Um, I use the SL, micro SL about 70%, no 60%, like a CL 30%, uh, like M240, 9%, let's say, and like a Q1%. Um, I'd normally use the CL or the SL, I just find the EVF easier for this style of photography. Okay, um, we change the hair up to like pigtails, as we call it over here. And uh, it gives a, maybe like a cute yet uh, hard face look. So like a, <laughs> a mixed mix bag. Um, and I really loved it. She's got such a good face. I was pretty happy with uh, this photo shoot, as you can probably imagine. Here's the setup. So again, still got the Godox overhead. Slightly different this time. I've got reflector on one side. And I've got the Godox AD200 in a deep umbrella. Uh, camera left or screen left and that's going to give a uh, fill light from the left you see so it's like this works as long as you try to pose your model towards that sort of where the light is so you'd be like model please look at Amy in this case please look at the edge of the softbox and as long as the head's on that angle she'll have like perfect face light and all these pictures I didn't retouch really anything so set the model 1100 photos within about 12 hours uh, obviously I slept in the meantime, but um, you don't need to edit if you like nicely in camera. So, um, and obviously it helps if a model's got really good skin. He can see me shooting kind of at arm's length, which I don't normally do. But one advantage is shooting at f5.6 or f8, with the topic of this video, is you don't need to be so precise with your focusing. So it's so nice, they can move a bit, I can move a bit, and you can just keep shooting and kind of just enjoy it to not have to kind of precision focus every single picture okay the next look for these i wanted like a more fashion kind of harder light um shooting light closer more at her directly to her face and that gives you a really sharp jawline and it just is kind of what you see about on the catwalk and then if you shoot the same sort of light slightly off angle you can now see the shadow behind her and the slightly different um effect of the light i just make sure the models look always looking towards the light when i like my models this was shot with AD200, AD, AD100 and a Magnum reflector. You can see the big monster reflector. That just spots, spotlights the light on the model. It gives a much kind of harsher, more specular light, um, a harder light, which we call it. So um, much more black blacks. And um, then I'm using different lenses in different scenarios throughout the shoot depending on the look that I want. So here I think I'm on a 28 mil or maybe 35 mil. I mean, really, it'd be probably 28 from how close I am. Um, in really close, and that kind of draws out the features. So if the angle of the jaw is slightly on an angle, it's going to like draw out the jaw to make it look stronger. And uh, maybe like you see in like um, music videos and things, they often shoot on a wide angle end and then have the camera right in the, the artist's face. Um, and then if you see behind my back, that silver lens is a 90mm. So when I was stepping, uh, working much further back, that's obviously on a long lens and that flattens their features. So depending on the pose and depending on the clothing and depending on the feel that we're going for, I was matching the, the lighting, the focal length to the clothes and the mood that we were trying to get. So you don't need to use the same kind of lighting for the whole shoot even if you've only got one light you can use the same one light and then shoot it bare bulb you can shoot it with umbrellas you can use it reflectors soft boxes it's really easy i did mention i'd use a lucky q as well here's photos shot with the lucky q just to prove i was using it um this shoot i couldn't post many of the pictures because they were more like glam style so 
It's just a quick preview of some of the photos back of camera. Okay, here's photos from the same shoot now shot with the, the other cameras. Again, try and work out the lighting, but you should be able to tell from the, the angle of the light. Now you get now your eyes are getting used to it as to where the light is. Well the photos shared in this video are just shot raw like I normally do. Uh, import it into Lightroom, then I just add a Mr. Leica black and white preset. Because I use four different cameras, I just applied one black and white preset for all photos. So you can mix and match presets to any camera, even though it might be called a Leica M9 black and white preset. I could still add it to an M9, an SL, an M240, M11, whatever. So that's what I did for this sheet, just to make it faster. Okay, so for this sheet, again, I was using the Beauty Dish overhead. I love that look. And then again, I was using the AD200 with barn doors to spot a bit to spot a bit of extra light on the face to give like a, a high contrast portion to the face. And then that lets the body be darker than the face. So I love using barn doors and grids. It's a really good way to control your light and kind of spot the light exactly where you want it. Uh, that's one benefit of having more than one light. If you've got two lights, you can get a bit more adventurous. If you then got three lights as you got in this particular look, if you look in the background, you can see a Godox V850, and I'm just using that as a rim light, so then firing it at the back of her head. Shooting f 5.6s makes it just so easy. You can see I've got my camera away from my face again, which I rarely do if I'm shooting, say, outside at 1.4, for example. And then that allows the model to see my face, and I'm using like hand signals with my other hand, talking the model through the poses as we're going, so it's a constant uh, rapport. Right, do this, do this, do this, look this way, do this, whatever. The best of all, you could have done this entire shoot with any camera and any lens, maybe like a zoom lens, for example, cheaper zoom lens, or you could use the, the latest and greatest lenses. It doesn't really matter. With these sorts of shoots, the light makes the pictures, not the lenses. And as you see here, something like a small Godox AD100 Pro, you can drop that into your bag next to your cameras and always have a pocketable light source on hand for those grey days when you don't have contrasty light. If you need a small tripod setup, again I can put a link below. You saw at the start of the video my mini tripod setup that I've developed for travel. To see some of the uncut footage from these two photo shoots, join Patreon and I'll link those videos soon.